because it was like, you know what, you need a bit of controlling. So that's what I did. So it's now a pullover cardigan. Well, if you're new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about refashioning of clothing. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile considering subscribing. Let's get into the video. I don't know, I think I should stop these dance moves, what do you think? <laughs> I'm not a very good dancer. My outfit for today. Yes, it's my fringe top. This is the first time I'm wearing it, I'm so happy with it, I'm so happy with the results. If I'm right, I believe this is a back to front top. I'm so into doing things back to front at the moment, isn't it? So many of my projects have been back to front recently. But this feels comfortable, it really does. I think it has something to do with the fact that it is, it, it, it is a raglan sleeve, which helps. And also, it is just a bit more fitted. If it wasn't as fitted, you wouldn't feel that it is back to front, because do, you do feel it slightly, but it wears up after a while, because I've been in this for a good hour or so, and, and now I'm doing a video and I'm aware of it, yeah. But when you are in the outfit, I mean the garment for any particular length of time, that feeling really does go away. The bigger the garment is, then the less you'll actually feel any type of restriction. And I'm talking about restriction about, you know, your throat, because obviously this is back to front, I've just mentioned, it feels comfortable. Yeah, it feels gorgeous. So, my fringe top, I'm also pairing it with a pair of pants that I've also refashioned as well. And um, I'm wearing those because I want to show off my tassel shoes because I've got my tassel earrings in. Oh, I've only got one in. Where's the other one? Oh, there we go. Oh my goodness. Let me see. Right, now I'm going to feel almost complete. Yes, my tassel earrings are now in. Um, got twist outs. I washed my hair a couple of days ago. So, yes, loving this. Now, I did get um, on this particular top a viewer, a subscriber, um, Tabassum, actually mentioned how I could finish this off and I totally agree. So if you have any suggestions about how I can finish off any of my outfits, put those in the description. So let me come and show you what it is. It is this brooch. Not this particular brooch because, you know, she's not, she hasn't seen this before, but she did mention that I should finish this off by putting a brooch on. So I am doing so and I'm going to put it here there we go it does it it does it it just draws your session it just that like, pop pop um feature that you need as well as my lipstick um, but yeah that looks, that looks gorgeous so she mentioned that I should put a brooch on so that's where I'm putting it and as you can see I've got bows here one's on my shoulder the other one's here and that's how it kind of fell um, it wasn't intentional um, and then when I put it on it's like oh I like the fact that one's up and one's down so yeah, when, when I was actually constructing it, I didn't have that in mind. So yes, so I've got the tassels. I've been doing this all day. <laughs> and um, yeah, so let me bring the, oh, before I do that, let me just show you what I'm going to be adding to this. It's going to be my tassel bag. My fringe bag, I should say. So yeah, and yeah, I'm just I'm just all tasseled and fringed today. <laughs> Is that an actual term? So let me just show you the back. Yeah, I'm gonna have fun wearing this outfit today. I really am. There we go. That's my footwear. 
refashion of pants. Okay, and now I'm just going to finish it off with a black man's, men's man's. there as well as peeping through. Yeah. That's my outfit for today. I know I say I'm going to cut out the dancing but I can't help myself. <laughs> Maybe because it's that time of year. That's what I'm putting it down to. So, what I'm wearing is a top that I haven't worn for a very long time as a sequin top and I will make sure this stays in my wardrobe for many years to come. It does need taking in a little bit because I have lost a little bit on the cleavage area <laughs> but it, it isn't happening, it's staying as is. Because um, as some of you may know, I don't particularly like working with sequins, but I do love sequins. I do have quite a few sequin items in my wardrobe, so yeah, it'll always be part of my life. But this will be my best and my treasured, apart from another one that I'm wearing this week as well, that I have made, which is a lot more easier to work with than this one. But yes, so I've got this one, I've got this choker, which I love. I wish I could, no. I'm happy with my body shape. Um, maybe I should have made this a little bit narrower, but no, I, I like the fact that it's kind of um, creasing. Um, yeah, it's different. So, it is a V neck, quite a deep V, and also a slight V at the back. It has an invisible zip, and I'm wearing it with a skirt that I also, is part of the CGL collection. Um, and that's a wrap over skirt and um, you've seen this already um, it, it does go with this because I'm hiding it with the top but it has <laughs> blue buttons <laughs> and a burgundy type button so it's, it's more of a, a casual kind of skirt but you can get away with making it look a bit glam by doing what I've done here um, so yeah even though we're wearing this during the day this there's no point in saving glam for just night time. You know, you can feel glam during the day, can't you? That's what I think. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. So, um, as you can see, I'm looking a bit sparkly, but it's also a bit nippy. It's a bit cold. So, I'm going to be wearing a cardigan with it, which is going to be this one. And you would have seen this before. I've, I've worn this a couple of times. It, it is a cardigan, but it, it's a cardigan that has a memory of its own. It does what it wants to do. And that's one thing I do love about it, actually. But I had to cross it over and sew the bottom of it. Because it was like, you know what, you need a bit of controlling. So that's what I did. So it's now a pullover cardigan. So I'm wearing textures. This is to keep me warm. Uh, see, this this is this is the problem that. But I love it. I do. I just love it. I love the fact it's got it will do what it wants to do. You know that off the shoulder thing that is very fashionable at one time. This I don't think it was particularly designed that way because this is from a charity shop, and um, when I bought it, it did have the spin tickets still on it. So I think whoever had it were probably fed up with the fact that it wouldn't stay on your shoulders. So it doesn't, so if I pull this up, it eventually will find itself like this. But maybe not so much because the sequins are like, hey, I'm helping out with a girl here. You will stay in position, so <laughs> I don't want it to. Um, so yeah, so I want it to stay like that. And this section here. 
so I could wear it like this. This turn around, give you a twirl. I want to, it's missing something. So I'm going to be putting a belt with it. Yeah, I'm going to put a belt with it. It's going to be this one. isn't doing everything central she likes a asymmetrical look even though there's just that happening with the cardigan I got on the top all oh, these these textures really do work that, that's that's nice isn't it I haven't worn it like this together before but that, that looks good I like that that's working well that's doing what he wants to do. There's a wrap over. And then just to finish it off, I'll be teaming it with some jewellery. It's going to be this ring. And also this beaded bracelet. So the ring picks up with the belt silver in the belt and also my black velvet bag where are you oh there woman it's sorry oh there we go and that also has a bit of silver but i'll be carrying it like a clutch i won't put it on my shoulder so yeah that's going to be my look for today bring you down so you can have a look at my footwear so yeah yeah that goes really well So what I am wearing is on this top for one main reason is because it's so easy to sew. It's sequin falls. It's sequin top. I just love it. I just love the fact that it has this nap where you can see it looks so sequined now. If I just turn laterally, it goes away and it looks more dense so it's got a, kind of like a velvet texture to it that I love but it's all sequins and it was so easy to sew but really very easy to sew so what I found out oh, this is what I hate when it comes to um, buying fabrics from the fabric shop that this was, this was referred to as a novelty fabric I think I can understand where they were coming from because you know, as I just demonstrated, but <laughs> novelty fabric, I don't know, struggle with that. But this was, um, I bought this many years ago, and it was only a small amount that I was left that was on a, on a roll, it was part of my remnants. And um, my eye, it caught my eye because as I was walking towards it or looking around, it was like, oh. Right, that's changing as you kind of follow the fabric round, and that's what that's what I liked about it. I was like, oh, all these sequins. So I was like, no, I don't think I'll bother. So I went over and I touched it. It's like, oh, it feels very soft, and the sequins also feel very soft as well. Let me show you. It feels, yeah, it feels very soft. That's what I liked about it. So it was easy to cut. Um, I didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> take away all the, 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 the little discs that make up the sequins and the seams. Yeah, it's, it's just, if I was introduced to sewing sequins with this type of fabric, I think I would fall in love with making them sew with them sequins. But no, just, I do have a little bit, some scraps left over. I'll show up in a minute. I do have some scraps left over that I'm going to make a choker with, I think. And also, Maybe it's some, I might do a little small kind of clutch type bag. Um, but no, I just love it. Look, Ruby, Ruby, same. Anyway, I'll show 
know. So that's my outfit for today. I've teamed it with a pair of denim um, pants, uh, which have these diamonti, diamontes on it, on the pocket area in the back. Um, so I just want to give it kind of like a casual feel. But I just wish the pants were a bit more, it's like a charcoal grey. And I think if it, was, if it was a dense black like this, it would have been more complimentary, I think. But I think I'm getting the that I wanted to get, where I wanted to look a bit glam all day, but not too over glam. And um, so I've got on my um, my high heels, my glam shoes, <laughs> sit down shoes, I should say. <laughs> Seriously, we'll not be walking in these all day, trust me. <laughs> Let me just show you. this video and um, if you have then please give it a thumbs up and please do share if you have any comments or queries then put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time and thank you for watching <laughs>